time it has been changing. We are experiencing different kinds of extreme cases, floods, droughts. All of those things are having an impact on different kinds of water management activities. Decision makers and policy makers have issues in understanding the extent of climate risk for different locations and also for different kinds of problems. We are dealing with a situation where there's a deep uncertainty about tomorrow in terms of the water situation. In Lodwa Town, the reliance on groundwater resources is 100%. There wasn't any data as such that was really useful for any kind of decision making. They are basically then using a resource which they knew nothing much about. So one of the things that we set out to do was to understand really how does this groundwater resource vary with changes in climate. We needed then to also understand how this particular resource can be sustainably managed and used well into the future under the uncertainties that we are facing due to climate change. We realized there was a connection between water quality and economic status of a household. And so since it is a major contributor to the development of these communities, we needed to understand the extent of the freshwater reserve and also to be able to guide the development of new boreholes. And this has really helped a lot because the county now targets the areas where we have delineated as freshwater reserves. There are so many models made by so many different modeling centers, so many different future scenarios those models are running. The question is then, like, what do you use? The Turkana jet is a great example of one of the physical processes that we would evaluate a model with. How does the model actually reproduce this process that we know is a key regional atmospheric circulation feature for East Africa? However, in the case of the Turkana jet, there was an almost non-existent set of observations for that feature. And so a research campaign led by Dr. Kalamunde in the University of Nairobi actually did an observation campaign to understand this really important feature that influences rainfall and climate conditions in the Turkana Channel in Kenya, but also the rest of the region as well. The Kenya team actually at University of Nairobi have been sort of integrating this understanding of the Turkana jet into um, their understanding of groundwater. We have seen this research being applied by uh, IGAD and also the Water Resources Authority in Kenya is absorbing the same data sets for the northeastern uh, aquifers, which is very significant for us. At the International Water Management Institute, in collaboration with the Rich Project, the work we are trying to do is to characterize exceptional wait seasons, their drivers, and also the associated floods. And that's going to help policymakers to make decisions like adaptation measures or what kind of interventions that they need to do. God has denied us water up there, but He blessed us with water underground. Our county depends so much on partners, and they've supported us even in coming with their water master plan for the county that has really made the people of Turkana proud. And the Climate Change Fund we've created, the Climate Change Regulations of 2021 that we've created, and then we have also the Climate Change Policy. We have to keep on adjusting as we go along as the climate changes. Remember, we're in deep uncertainty, and every day we'll be learning something new. The research work that we have done for the observatories that we have in Ethiopia and Kenya have given us enough grounding to be able to make decisions on how to really counter those changes and make sure that water security is embedded in the regions that we have worked in.